several things will stay the same. First of all, our overall strategy for the finite element method, solving the Helmholtz equation in a weighted sense and so forth. The second, the boundary conditions will stay the same. They will still only impact the very first and last nodes of the grid. So the order of the interpolation functions won't matter. And third, we can still use the same method for solving the matrix equation. Easy is k backslash b. Now what needs to change are six things. We need to change nn, the number of nodes. We need to change the size of the ke matrix to reflect the new number of nodes per element. We need to solve for the new ke coefficients to go into that new ke sized matrix. We need to also update the element connectivity, how the, how the nodes are connected together and where the nodes are. We need to uh, also, number five, we need to adjust the global matrix assembly. So that it takes into account the new size of the KE matrix. KE is larger. And lastly, we need to change how we're plotting the results. That is, we can't just use plot EZ anymore because that assumes linear interpolation between the nodes. Look through your code and try making these changes to your code, these six changes. Try addressing all six of these items. If you get stuck on any, just move on to the next one and see how far you can get. In the next video segment, I'll provide some help for completing some of these six changes to your code, which you can watch later if you would like.